The great state of California is abundantly supplied with talent, intelligence, and compassionate care for its citizens. With the kind of assault being made on California by drug trafficking organizations, they are going to need all the talent available to fight back. From the south comes methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, and marijuana, smuggled in from Mexico by land, sea, and air. Many controlled prescription drugs, including rohypnol, the hypnotic date rape drug, are available in Mexico without a prescription. From the north comes a potent hydroponic marijuana from British Columbia. Rural areas within California permit the manufacture of more methamphetamine. As a result, nearly half the population of the state, aged 12 and older, have used an illicit drug at some time in their lives. Almost one in 10 in the last month. In 2005, more than 183,000 people in California entered a drug or alcohol treatment facility. However, 849,000 people who needed treatment for drug abuse problems did not receive it, and 2 million people did not get treatment for alcohol problems that they needed. The right time to get help for those abusing or addicted to drugs or alcohol is right now. The next time the addicted person uses meth, heroin, cocaine, alcohol, or any other drug could bring disaster or incarceration. When looking for an effective drug rehab program, determine if the program in question has a treatment system that effectively eliminates the three basic barriers to a successful recovery. They are the cravings, guilt, and depression suffered by every addicted person. When an addict can leave guilt, cravings, and depression behind, then they can build the skills to make drug-free choices. And when real recovery is attainable, California builds a better future for all its citizens. So get help now. For NNTV Drug Rehab News, this is Tim Gozanski.